Hi guys. Today we will analyze Nvidia stock and calculate its intrinsic value using two different valuation models. Enjoy. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Technical analysis. Although Nvidia had good overall performance in the market in the past year, recent evolutions are not that positive. Both the medium and short term picture give negative signs. Support level is around $218. Strong support level is around $198. Resistance level is around $282. The next resistance level is around $315. In the last month the stock has been trading between $210 and $285 range, which is wide. It is currently trading in the middle of this range. It may be a good idea to wait for a pullback before considering an entry. The stock has an average volume of $50 million. This is a good sign as it is always nice to have a liquid stock. Again, the long-term trend is neutral, but the short and medium-term trends are negative. Better to stay away from this stock. Intrinsic Value Buy low, sell high. We have heard it many times before. But how to know when it's low, and when it's high? The intrinsic value of a stock, is its true value. It refers to what a stock is actually worth. Even if some investors think it's worth a lot more than that amount. Intrinsic value is important because it can help investors understand whether the cost of a stock is undervalued, or overvalued compared to the market value of the stock. Let's calculate the stock's intrinsic value. For more accurate results, we will use two different valuation models to calculate the intrinsic value of the stock. Discounted free cash flow model, using the formula below, then, valuation based on earnings per share, 5-year average P-E ratio and expected growth rate. First model. Discounted free cash flow valuation This spreadsheet contains some financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. We see that the average revenue growth rate of the stock has been around 35% per year, for last 5 years. Also we see that the average profit margin of the stock has been around 30% per year, for last 5 years. Also we see that the average free cash flow to net income rate of the stock, has been around 108% per year for last 5 years. And we expect 8% per year average stock market return. Now, let's consider 3 different scenarios for Nvidia company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Nvidia will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be low, 8%. Future profit margin would be low, 25%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be low. 80%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $35. The second scenario. Nvidia will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be average, 12%. Future profit margin would be average, 30%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be average, 95%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $55. The third scenario. Nvidia will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be high, 16%. Future profit margin would be high, 35%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be high, 115%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $87. Second model. Valuation based on earnings per share. This spreadsheet contains another financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. The current earning per share price for Nvidia is 3.24. Minimum rate of return. I will use 12%. Because when we invest in individual companies, we are looking for a higher return than the S&P 500. For Nvidia, analysts forecast growth rate around 27% per year in next 5 years, and future PE around 45. Again. I will use three different scenarios for Nvidia company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Nvidia will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be low, 8%. Future PE would be low, 18. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $42. Second scenario. Nvidia will have average performance in next 5 years and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be average, 
future PE would be average, 20. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $65. Third scenario. NVIDIA will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be high, 16%. Future PE would be high, 22. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $98. As you can see, today the stock is overvalued, $243, even if we expect NVIDIA's high performance in future. The fundamentals are good. But the stock is currently too overpriced. I would be happy to buy this stock, when it drops below $100. If you think I'm too conservative, see what have happened with Facebook stock recently. Nobody expected such an epic fail from such a big company. So, we have to be conservative. We want to invest, not to gamble. Company Strengths NVIDIA is a visual computing company with worldwide operations and markets. The company operates through two segments, graphics and compute and networking. The company's four main markets are gaming, professional visualization, data center, and automotive. NVIDIA is well positioned in this virtual reality environment with its Omniverse technology, which lets planners, architects and creators develop virtual 3D simulations. Even without ARM, NVIDIA is uniquely positioned to advance GPU compute technology across multiple growth opportunities, including AI data center and machine learning, professional visualization, and autonomous driving. The company has return on assets of 20% and return on equity of 34% This is amongst the best returns of the industry. Profit margin of 34% is amongst the best returns of the industry. The revenue is expected to grow by 27% on average over the next 5 years. Risks Management is acknowledging that supply chain challenges are impacting the company's ability to fully meet demand in markets including gaming and automotive. The possibility that CPU industry leaders such as Intel or Qualcomm could incorporate GPU functionality into their chipset. The company is also at risk from downturns in the global economy, which would reduce consumer and enterprise spending on technology investments. NVIDIA also risks investing extensively to support technologies, such as autonomous driving and VR gaming, that do not fully justify that spending. The FTC is suing NVIDIA to block the acquisition of ARM Limited citing that it would stifle innovation across the semiconductor industry. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.